Hi everybody, this is Alan Pino, and I'm going to show you eight tips and tricks for your Windows 8.1 start screen that you're going to love. So very quickly, the Windows 8 start screen uh, came about because the older start menu that Windows has been using since Windows 95 all the way up through Windows 7 got used less and less and less after Windows Vista. So Windows Vista and then Windows 7, people just didn't use the start menu as much. They actually started pinning their most frequently used uh, applications or programs to the taskbar on the desktop. So Microsoft came out along with the start screen and yes it does have a tablet or touch screen based uh, uh, way they're going with that but it works just great with a mouse and keyboard. I have a whole separate video and article about that but I'm going to show you what's going to work great for you on this start screen and why you want to use this instead of any other type of third-party start menu option for Windows 8 or heck even going back to Windows 7 stick with Windows 8 get the use the start screen effectively you'll love it so let's go through a few uh, tips and tricks for you right off the bat so the first one is keep your start screen simple you'll see I'm not scrolling right or left like you might see on the Microsoft commercials or on those touch based tablets I got everything I need to right on my screen I'm not doing anything else that's your first tip. You don't want to add every single program and everything you have on your start screen because you can find everything you need to very easily and I'll show you how to do that later. The next thing, you're, tip number two, is to go ahead and group things. Now I have four groups. What's new? Productivity, graphic design, entertainment. Heck, you might have a group called people or friends and you know, maybe another one for family. Uh, there's, or I got a productivity one here with Microsoft Office. You know, so you can have groups of what you want to and this actually helps your eye get to what you need to quickly like when I go to my star screen if I need to go to Microsoft Office I know it's going to be my second group it's going to be called productivity the, uh, the tiles are nice and big they're not too small they're the right size and click it I'm in I'm good it takes me less than a second the next one is wallpaper now I'm going to go to my desktop there you go and go back to my star screen notice how the wallpaper is exactly the same. You can do this with Windows 8.1. So the way you do that is to go to your charms bar and so for you desktop users you go to your upper right hand corner and go down and I want to go to where it says settings right here and there's an option that says personalize. So click on personalize and here's where I can choose up here all the different wallpapers and they have these uh, options here but your last one right here will always be your desktop wallpaper. See that? and that's an easy thing to do. I always recommend to everybody to do their desktop wallpaper as their start screen wallpaper. It makes the experience between going back and forth between the desktop less jarring, it looks nice, and it's uh, easy to do. The next thing is to pin people. Now I got a few different people pinned right here. Inside the people app inside Windows 8 you can go ahead and pin people with their Facebook account, Twitter, whatever right to the start screen get their little updates. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the people app and here's an example. I have uh, Tom Warren already pulled up in my people app and let's say you know Tom Tom's the editor at The Verge. He writes on there. Let's say I want to always get his tweets from his Twitter account up on my start screen. Easy to do. You just go ahead and right click anywhere on here. You do pin to start. I can choose the size you know, for his, uh, his live tile. I'm going to do this wide one right here. Click pin to start and I go back to my start screen and there's Tom's uh, live tile right there and there you go. You see there's actually a uh, update from him already. So that's a great thing to do. You can go and pin your favorite account right to your start screen. The next thing is pinning websites. Now you see this one right here that's updating? This is actually Bing. I pinned the Bing website. This is not an app. I, the website right there. So if I were to click on this right here, it takes me right inside Internet Explorer to the Bing website. I can do that for other things too, like The Verge. I can go over here. I can go ahead and click this little uh, star icon, which is your favorites. Clicking that, and then there's a pin icon right there. And I can pin it to my star screen. I already got The Verge pinned there, but otherwise it would say pin it. So. The other thing is folders. So you see I got a few folders right here pinned. This is a great feature. You know, we probably go into folder where they're at work or at home quite a bit. So I'm going to go to my graphic design folder. 
So here's what's kind of cool. You see where it says SkyDrive? SkyDrive is deeply integrated into Windows 8.1, so it basically works just like your computer's hard drive. Uh, so it's, it's very nice in that way, but this tip will work even for a folder on your computer hard drive. So here we are, and let's say I want to pin the, my inspiration folder to my start screen. So I right click on that folder and I do pin to start. And when I look at my start screen, I'll have the folder appear right there. I can move it wherever I want to. I'm going to do it into my graphic design one right here. So when I click on that folder, it brings me right into desktop mode, and there it, it is, all my files. Talk about a time saver. I love it. And for business users, perfect. The other two things I'm going to show you is how to get to things faster. So, okay, hey, you know what? I don't have all my programs pinned on here. I told you to keep it simple. Here's why. Just type what you're looking for. Let's say I'm looking for maybe, I don't know, uh, at OneNote, right? So I do have it pinned right here, but let's say, you know what? I didn't have it there. So all I gotta do is just start typing, and there it is. You know, I can go right to OneNote that easily. You see how it came up? And it's also searching for files and stuff too. I can do this drop down menu to choose just files, uh, maybe stuff on the web, stuff like that. So it's kind of a really nice. Uh, way to find stuff that you want to get into. And then finally, hey, you, you're probably one of those users who want to see everything on your computer? No problem. Go right down to this drop down menu and it shows you every single program on your computer. Just like, hey, your start menu, right? Uh, but what's great about this, you can group it by name, by date install, by most used, or by category. Talk about convenient. Go back up, just do your, your little up arrow, and you're back to the start screen. Say, I hope you love these tips and tricks, and I hope you found out that your Windows 8.1 star screen is actually pretty awesome. Thanks.